you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here at the Sportsman's Lodge in Studio City, California, for the 60th anniversary of Gunsmoke, presented by the Real Cowboys 18th Annual Silver Spore Awards. So check us out here as we interview a lot of the celebrities and the guests here that attend the 60th anniversary of Gunsmoke, presented by the Real Cowboys 18th Annual Silver Spore Awards on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here with Martin Cove. Uh, Mr. Cove, for the audience, what brings you out here to this wonderful event? Well, I'm helping giving some awards to some veterans of World War II, of Korean War, and all people who are actually regulars on Gunsmoke. And we don't know a lot about their background, but I'm learning as of today the people I'm giving an award to, James Arness and a couple of others, you know, and it's fascinating to see the background they had prior to getting a job on Gunsmoke 20, see, 1955, so it's like 50 years ago, you know, 60 years ago, and uh, it's, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to see them all and whoever's still alive. Yeah. You know? and did you grow up with that show? Like, uh, is that was a favorite show of yours? Yeah, I enjoyed that. My favorite show, it used to go back to back with uh, Have Gun Would Travel. So that was kind of my favorite show. And um, and then Maverick I liked a lot. But, you know, Gunsmoke, the first Western I ever did in the last year of Gunsmoke was Gunsmoke. I mean, wow. And I had such a ball. And it's when you're a hung hungry actor. And it's like 1974. And I was in town and I just arrived, you know. And here we are, you know, it's way before Karate Kid, way before Rambo and Cagney and Lacey. And I had such a ball. And we all wanted lines. <laughs> we all wanted more dialogue. And, and there you'd see James Arness just, well, Milburn Stone can say this, and Chester can say this, and he didn't want any yeah, of his dialogue, you know? Now, the, the, speaking of your, your, your background in, in acting, what or who in your life inspired you to become an actor? Well, I was just always knew I wanted to be an actor. I mean, I, I loved, you know, the, I think my parents would send me out to, the, to Manhattan from Brooklyn or Queens, and we'd go and see a spectacle. And from the time I saw... I guess, I mean, I remember Rebel Without a Cause because I just saw it and again, and I think that was one of the first movies I saw. The other one was This Gun for Hire yes. with, with um, Alan Ladd. I remember seeing these pictures, and I guess I, one's memory goes as far back as when you're about six. Mm -hmm. So I remember seeing, you know, my mother tells the story of how I used to see when, the, when those horse operas with Bob Steele, the, you know, the the horse would gallop across the screen and I would go around the back of the TV to see where it went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was a little kid, you know, and uh, but I mean, it goes back to those B Westerns that I remember always loving and the actors over the years, I mean, Peter O'Toole, I think one of the first gigs I ever had was Sean Connery's stand-in. Wow. In a movie called The Anderson Tapes. And, um, you know, I did about five or six things as an extra before I, you know, during my theatrical you know, work in New York, and it was always interesting, always fascinating. Now, obviously, you've been inspired, and we want to inspire those. What inspirational messages can you give to someone out there that maybe wants to become an actor like yourself, or just follow their dreams in general? Well, you've got to follow your dreams, no question about it. But just remember one thing: if you don't get the job, it's their mistake. Now, we want to help promote you in any way, any projects, any upcoming projects, any websites. you got an audience right here. Yeah, the website's always fun to go to, www.martincoveonline.com. But, you know, there's, there's a couple of fun movies. I think there's a family movie that's out on a, a video on demand called The Dog Who Saved Summer, which is a takeoff on my Karate Kid character, but he's a dog trainer. And it's very funny, that's very funny. Awesome. And another one about the de deposition of the Shah, called Price for Freedom, which will be out soon. I, I have this full beard, and I play this terrorist, and it's whew, heavy stuff. Awesome. Well, I want to say best of luck with everything. God bless you with or, and all the years of entertainment. Thank you so much. Yeah. Again, this is Tyrone Tan with the one and only. Martin Cove. And you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Tyrone knows. So check out more episodes as we interview a lot more guests here that attend the 60th anniversary of Gunsmoke, presented by the Real Cowboys 18th Annual Silver Spore Awards on Star Wars Entertainment TV.